Hey guys, it's Marissa, kitchentablestamper.com. Got a cute project for you today. It's inspired by our Stampin' Anonymous tutorial for October. This is our little project here, a little Santa treat. There's our little Christmas tree. Such a cutie. Oh, I love this. Simple, simple project. It's our featured Stampin' Anonymous tutorial for October. I can't wait to show you. It's a super simple idea and uh, inspired by the Stampin' Anonymous tutorial. So if you don't already know about the Stampin' Anonymous tutorials, let me tell you a little bit about them while you're getting in here. The Stampin' Anonymous tutorial is six exclusive tutorials. tutorials. You won't see the actual tutorials anywhere else. Um, they're always fun fold cards or three dimensional projects. So we call them better than flat. And this month you can get this bundle of six tutorials three ways. They're $9.95 in the Kitchen Table Stamper store. So you can have the six exclusive tutorials and you can just purchase them. You get the six exclusive tutorial bundle free from me when you place a Stampin' Up! order. So a Stampin' Up! order for actual products of any size at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Get you the tutorial bundle for free. I send those out usually Saturday mornings after you've placed your order by email. You can also get the Stampin' Anonymous tutorials for free by joining the Kitchenettes. So every month that you are a member of my team, the Kitchenettes, in good standing, as long as you're current with Stampin' Up! and you're a part of the team, you'll get the tutorials every single month for free. So lots of ways that you can get these um, Stampin' Anonymous tutorials. And this is one of the tutorials, or I should say my case of one of the tutorials from this month. All right. So this is our project today. We'll get started in just one second. I can't wait to talk to you about this one. It's a fun one. Um, here's a little alternate. Look at this project. So the same idea. I'll do a video for this one eventually. I couldn't resist the cute fruit. I think every season is good for cute fruit. I was going to do this one for you guys today. And then I thought, uh, I don't know if it'd be as well received as a Christmas version. So what do you think? Do you guys like that? Christmas one? Or wishing you a slice of happiness. I think you can do that anytime, right? <laughs> uh, you're going to get both tutorials. Eventually, I'll do a video for this one, too. Can't resist anything the cute fruit. I'm going to show you this is um, the uh, bag from the Stampin' Dimensional. So let's get our treat, and we'll bag it up while I'm catching up on comments. So when I do my uh, Stampin' Stack packets, I don't... I don't talk about it, I don't tell you, but I put a sheet of mini dimensionals, thank you, and a sheet of regular dimensionals in with the Stampa Stack packets as just a, a thank you. And then I have tons of these little bags from the dimensionals, and I can't bring myself to throw them away. So that's what inspired this treat package for the Stampin' Anonymous tutorial. I've got these bags everywhere, and thought what a great way to corral some of the amazing candies that I kind of keep on hand. So I'm going to take six of these little Palmer Santas. These are Palmers, by the way, and I got these at Meijer. Um, I, I think these are double crisp Santas. If you're looking for them like on Amazon or something, you'll get their double crisp Santas. They've got cute caramel Santas, too, that are Santa faces. I love Palmer's chocolates. They're not so delicious that I'm tempted to eat them all day long every day. And they're super cute. <laughs> all right, so there is my little Santas and my dimensionals bag. <laughs> this is the bag from these um, that we're going to use today. These all the trimmings embellishments. So a little bit smaller than the dimensionals bag. And that's what I used for these two little lemon pucker candies. All right, so just hold on to them. They're good for um, wrapping. I would only put wrapped candy in these because they did have the embellishments or the dimensionals in it. I don't think I'd put like orange slices or you know anything that wasn't wrapped. All right, so there we go. We've packed up our little Santas in our dimensional bag. Now let's take a look. Now you'll see Stampin' Anonymous tutorial. Get a little sneak peek. Here's our 
Stampin' Anonymous tutorial that we're casing today. It's our featured tutorial. And we're gonna do this project with um, basic black cardstock. And this one is five and a quarter by three. And then I've got my Tis the Season six by six designer series paper. I think I'm gonna go with the other side of this one. So plaid on one side and this holly pattern on the other. This one is two and three quarters by five. And so we're just gonna glue those two pieces together. All right, I'm gonna use a little multi-purpose liquid glue and just combine these two layers. And then, oops, it's already stuck and crooked. I cannot abide by crooked. All right, let's see which pattern we like better. Now I need my grid paper here because we're gonna use our centering ruler and we're gonna make a mark so that we can punch our little ribbon notches. So grid paper, this stuff always comes in handy. I love my centering ruler. So it's three inches. So we're gonna line up on one and a half and one and a half. That'll give us a nice center mark. And if it's you've got it nice and straight on the lines, then you can just mark at the bottom also. See, so there's, we've marked center. And now my handy dandy half inch circle punch. I'm going to center that mark and cut half a circle, a little semi-circle. Center the mark and cut. You guys, you won't believe how simple this is and what a great way to recycle. All right, now at this point, you can, if you like, add a little bit of dimension or a little bit of adhesive to the back of these guys. They're kind of heavy, so I like to put a couple of glue dots or a little strip of um, tear and tape. I'm going to do just a couple of glue dots on the back of the bag. It's more of a reinforcement than anything else. This glue dot does not want to pick up. Watch, I'm going to put it on the paper instead. It wants to stay with me. Stop, glue dot, stop. All right, and then I'll put one on the other side here too. It's cold here today. My glue dots don't want to come off the roll. Did you guys ever experience that? Okay, these guys can go a little high of center. And I'm going to use for this one, this double stitched satin ribbon. And I'm gonna tie the whole packet. Go right through those little notches there bring the ribbon across the top and we're going to tie a loopy bow off to the side. All right, so we've got a nice big bow. There's going to be a little Christmas tree, kind of a dimensional guy that's going to snug right up against it. So be generous, make a loopy bow. Let's cut that off the spool and fix the angle on this side. There it is. Oh, I don't know which one I like. I guess I'm going to have to wait and see till I get my tree on there. The holly pattern's kind of cute, but it is pretty white. Let's see. All right, a couple more cardstock things here. I've got scraps of shaded spruce. I literally just pulled them out of the scrap bag. And then I die cut ahead of time a little tag from Whisper White. And you guys know how much I love this one. This is from the Ornate Frames dies. And it's this little skinny, narrow one there. I'm gonna cut a, maybe about a quarter of an inch off the end. It's a little bit long for the sentiment we're using. So I'm gonna pop that in my trimmer and just trim off, I don't know, a, not quite, not quite a quarter of an inch. We're just shortening it a little bit. I need a stamp and pierce mat and some shaded spruce ink. Now, and my take your pick tool. I want to pop out the center of that tag. My stamps are from Festive Post. I'm going to use this little Merry Christmas. Enjoy the season would work well here too. And then I had to bring on a, a favorite from the annual catalog. This is the perfectly plaid stamp set. And I'm going to use this leafy tree right here. So I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas with shaded spruce on the end of the tag. We did get a second tag just in case. Oop, no going back now. 
Well, there it is. Ah, not bad. Yay. All right, so I got my little Merry Christmas. Now my shaded spruce. We need three trees. I got these scraps here. I don't know what they're from. They're all the same size. Makes me suspicious what I was using it for. But we need three trees. I'm going to stamp that guy shaded spruce on shaded spruce. I love that little leafy tree. Feeling like my shaded spruce ink pad could use a little ink. I'm not a good ink pad re-inker. You guys good ink pad re-inkers? I over ink my pads all the time. All right, three shaded spruce trees and let's punch them out. Got my pine tree punch. And I'll just slide those guys in and line them up. Hmm. Having a little trouble reaching here, so let's see, what do I want to do about it? Yeah, ever have a little trouble reaching? And take your scrap and a little bit of adhesive on the end of the scrap. Then you've got your item that needs to be punched out and it's now stuck to the end of the scrap. Now look how easy it is to line that up even though there's no paper outside the punch. You just use that little scrap to do the job. So we're going to take our handle and we're going to do again. And we can use the handle to help us line it up. There's my trees. Let's fold them all in half now. And they're not exactly symmetric. So what you're going for is just for the point and then fold the trunk in half. But you'll see the branches aren't exactly symmetric. Don't worry, it'll still look awesome. So fold all three of these guys in half. is a really good trick with the ornament punch pack too and the heart punch pack and the apple builder you can make some great little three-dimensional items with those punches so I'm gonna glue these guys together just like a book I'll add a little bit of adhesive on the page before you see all the way down to the trunk all the way up to the tip of the tree and then we'll take one of the folded ones, glue them together. And now's the time to slide the, so that the top of the tree all lines up and the trunk of the tree all lines up. And once you got that, you can open it up. There's your little dimensional Christmas tree. Before we put our tree on, I'm gonna decorate the tree with all the trimmings embellishments. I really love these little um, enamel embellishments. They're um, they're matte finish, so they're kind of cool. Great colors and shapes. I'm gonna put five of the small red one on my Christmas tree and a yellow star on top. I need one more little red one. Those are the popular ones in my pack right now. Next one I'll have to do white ornaments, but I couldn't do white ornaments on this one because there's so much white on the designer series paper in this one. All right, slide these guys to the side. Can't get this guy in here. Let's pull that guy down too so you can see them both. All right, let me grab some dimensionals. I'm gonna grab my little mini dimensional. I got a edge piece right here, and I'm gonna take a, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so. And I'm gonna 
pop that on the back of my tree. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I forgot my tag. Let me do that real quick. I'm gonna slide my tag right onto the ribbon. If you've got a nice angle, it'll, this ribbon will pull through, but you're gonna have to fix the tail of your ribbon because that hole is pretty tiny. All right, first our Merry Christmas tag, then a cute little bow. And now a quick little trim. That's better. We can't forget our Merry Christmas tag. And then we'll just snug our tree right up against our bow. We don't want to cover Santa's face. There it is. Super simple. What do you think of that? And a great way to keep these bags out of the landfill, at least for one more use before they're tossed away or thrown in the garbage. What do you guys think? <laughs> I hope that you liked the tutorial. It was something super simple. All right, if you guys have any questions at all about the project, about the Stampin' Anonymous tutorials, if there's anything I can do that to help you stay crafty, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and a shop 24 seven, buzz over to marissaelvarez.stampinup.net, place your order and get your free tutorial. All right, you guys, have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you guys on Thursday in the craft social for mystery card. So look out for clues on Wednesday. We'll be live on Thursday in the craft social to play mystery card. And I'll see you back here Friday at noon for another fun crafting adventure. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for hanging with me. Have a great weekend.